Hi guys, welcome to another session of Rappler Live Jam. I'm here tonight with a very special returning guest. We have Mr. Gary V here. Back with us tonight, of course, he has his own special guest with us, um, Miss Carla um, Guevara La Forteza, who was in Miss Saigon and was also in Rack of Ages and many other um, wonderful theater plays and musicals. And we have um, Archie De La Fuente, who was on um, The Voice Philippines season one. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome back and welcome. Thanks for Hello. having us. For the first us. time. Yes. Excited to be here. I it's, love your, it's, it's your good headquarters. Thank you. Yeah, this is the yeah. headquarters. <laughs> yeah, I love it. <laughs> nice, no? So yeah. you guys are here for Gary's, um, the season finale of yes. Gary V Presents, which is happening this weekend. Mm -hmm. There's it starts on May 12 and 13, yes. and then it's May 19 and 20. Mm -hmm. And they are only two of the 11 artists that are going to make up the entire cast. Yeah, so you've Gary also had Bullet Dumas over. Bullet Dumas is there. Of course, Kiana um, Valenciano Kiana, is there. Yes. Um, Kat Velarde. Kat Velarde mm -hmm. is there. Mitoy Yonting. Uh, Lara Maige. Janice Lara. Javier. Janice Javier is there. And yeah. for, of course, you're uh, saying Marquez. you said it's the season finale, but for anyone who's maybe watching and isn't familiar with Gary V Presents, mm -hmm. can you tell us a little about it? Okay. Once upon a time, <laughs> there was a young boy by the name of Paolo Valenciano who came up to his dad and said, Dad, what if you came up with a concert wherein you present certain artists that you truly believe in? I said, yeah, I've always done that. No, but Dad, not just one or two guests. Get the selection, you know? And so we sat down, we went through meeting after meeting, and uh, we came up with a whole list of artists that we felt may have been seen before by the public, but either it's because other artists are now you know, seen more often. Because um, for me, for us, just because an artist isn't seen as much doesn't mean that the artist is not as good as those who are seen. So we decided to stage this. And uh, Carla's name came up, RJ's name came up, and all the other names I just mentioned. And when we put the list together, and when we came up with a concept, which I cannot exactly tell people what the, the concept is, but or the repertoire, I cannot tell people what we're going to actually sing in the concert, but the idea of bringing them together uh, and making and showing the people that these are the artists I feel are worth, uh, are worthy of standing up on a stage like the theater at Solaire and uh, being treated like the superstars that they're meant to be, you know? And so you called up Carla and RJ, and what were you, you guys' reactions when you you know, first heard about the concert. I fell off my chair. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. I kept pinching myself. Gary Valenciano calling me up, asking me to be in a concert with him. <laughs> so, but we're truly grateful. I mean, all my life I've been doing musical theater and my audience is different from the audience that I'm, I'm gonna be singing to with Tito Gary. And it's such a great fulfillment to actually be appreciated by a different kind of audience and to be able to sing a different kind of genre. Of, of, of songs and you know I'm so used to singing musical theater and here I get to sing pop and of course OPM so that's the most important for me so thank you Tito Gary yeah like what Carla said it was like a, a dream come true like we couldn't believe it because ever since um, like who doesn't want to perform and ever since with, you were like this I was like <laughs> this like it's watching okay, you can tell watching uh, Tito Gary shows in California like He's such an inspiration to not just me, but so many people. And it's just such a privilege to just be able to share the stage with him. And he's become our mentor. And um, each, each one of us, I don't know, it's, it's so exciting because everyone is so different. And when we come together, I don't know. I'm, I'm so, I'm like blown away. Oh, and it's going to be the season finale. Yes. So it's going to be pretty bittersweet. It's going to be, actually, it's going to be pretty emotional. Um, if, if any of you, if any ones out there are, are followers of mine on Instagram, there is a post that I have there where it was scored in a very emotional and melancholic type, type of genre, okay. the music, no? But that's how I feel about this particular project. Um, you know, when I was a lot younger, when I started out in the industry, there were people who took the courage and who took the risk of supporting me. The late Kuya Germs, Kula Desma, I mean, these are the people who really said, you know, this guy may have something to show but be, and because of that, they, it inspired me to, to continue and to go on and to really stand on every stage, you know, giving people more than what they came to see. So this is definitely going to be one of those shows. Now, 
when people arrive, you know, they think it's just an, another show of Gary Valenciano, but it's just my name. <laughs> it's really our show. And that's why for me, it will be, it will be quite emotional, um, but it will leave, hopefully it will make people leave going, ang gagaling talaga ng mga talents no, ng Pilipinas. No? Uh, yeah, my name, I'd, I'd be part of the cast, but yeah. it's really focusing on my guests. And the show, again, if you guys missed it earlier, it will be on May 12, 13, 19, and 20 at the Theater at Solaire. Yeah, and if you, if you want to know how to get tickets, uh, just reach Ticket World at 8919999, you know, and you can get your tickets there. Now, listen, I've been around for a long time. Like, RJ this just didn't want to tell people that he was this small. But I encourage even the millennials to come and see it because... Um, I'm with artists who represent also the millennials. Maybe not all of them, but many of them are. And to see them come out on stage and to, to know that their music and the direction of Paolo Valenciano, because he's the yeah. director of the show, uh, the, way he, the way we wanted to bring out the best in these artists, it's going to be very evident in, in this show. Uh, and I know that there are many millennials out there who can sing. I mean, when you talk about the Philippines, it's a dime. Uh, what that? A, a dime, a, a, what's the saying? Uh, a dime a bucket or something like that? Uh, a dime a, a, a dime a dozen. A dime a dozen yeah. of singers. Meaning anybody, you know, even in our house, you know, in the early morning, at four o'clock in the morning, people are in the karaoke, they're singing, and, but they're good. I mean, they, yeah. they can carry a tune. Um, but we have, we have the artists that I feel are going to take this show, and a, it's a great standard for the next seasons to come of Gary V Presents. You know. Well, before that, before any of that, you guys are singing a few songs for us tonight. Yes. And we yes, are yes, starting yes. with Mr. Gary V. Yes. You are singing Dina Bale for us. Di Bale na lang. Oh, Di Bale na lang. Sorry. That's okay. That's fine. I love that. Why? I love it when people, <laughs> then I can correct, because then I can Di I Bale can na lang. Yeah, Di Bale na lang. It's a song I wrote way back in the 80s. So. Why did you choose to sing this song for us tonight? Well, um, I think it's one of those songs where, okay, let me just share a real quick story here. But I remember I was in, uh, in the U.S. I think I was in Denver or in, in Minnesota or something like that. And I was sitting down in a lounge, and uh, this artist comes up to me. Excuse me, are you Gary V from the Philippines? And I said, uh, yeah. Now, this was like, I think, 1999 or 2000. Are you from the Philippines? I said, yes, I am. And she starts going, Hindi ko na alam kung mak and she was a uh, Patty Cabrera from Puerto Rico. And I'm saying, how what? She goes, No, I went on a missions trip to the Philippines in 1987 yeah. and I heard that song and I fell in love with it. And then she continues singing the first verse up to the second verse. And I'm like, She goes, Oh my no, my friends know you. Yeah, this Gary Valenciano. And we were in the middle of this, this place, you know. And yeah. That's why I like singing that song, because I feel it, it kind of breaks down the barriers, and it's such a feel-good song that I felt yeah. you know, all ages will enjoy this one. And it's one of the songs we're actually doing in the concert, so. Oh. Well, before you sing it in concert, you are singing it here, Di Bale Na Lang Di Bale by Na Gary V. That's right. Take it away. Okay, let's do this. Ngayon, araw-araw lumilipas ang panahon 
kalimutan ko siya'y malayo sa isip ko Di kaya pinaikot niya lang ako Bigla na naman nagbago ang isip niya Pagkakataon ko nang mapasagot ko siya Pagpagsinabi ko'y di mabili here thank you thank you very much you. that's why i love coming here to rappler everybody's like this and then after the song ah! <laughs> love it hi guys if you're just joining us now we are here with gary v um carla guevara for Telesa and for la forteza La Forteza. i'm sorry that's okay carla guevara la forteza and rj de la fuente they are here for live jam of course they are also um promoting their concert yeah. that is this weekend and next weekend. Gary, Gary V presents, presents it the, is season the season finale. And you guys have been running this show since 2015. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's about two uh, done years. done it like five times already. Um, yeah. We were first at the, uh, uh, at the Resorts, Resorts World. World and then we went to Kia Theater and now we're ending it at the Theater at Soler. It's a great venue to have this concert. It's a very intimate kind of venue. You've performed there now. Yes. Yeah. Saturday Night Fever. That's right. Oh, nice. If you guys didn't see Saturday Night Fever, shame <laughs> on you guys. This <laughs> lady was amazing. I didn't even know it was her because she was doing a different kind of... Yeah. Two roles. Yeah. Oh, really? I, see, I was I the club singer and yes, then I was the mom were. of Tony Manero. Can you imagine? <laughs> How many people can do that? No? I mean, to play two roles and sing differently, yeah? so in different styles and all. Nice. And on Gary V Presents, what are some of your favorite moments from those two years, those five shows? Every single minute Ooh. that we're all together. Yes. From rehearsals to. We've gotten so close. What's the most the memorable? Album. Most memorable? Yeah. Oh, that's tough. What's like the funniest Wait. thing that's happened? 
<laughs> during we the show. We were recording when, when Janice was rolling on the floor. What were we choreographing at that time? He was we made her a bowling <laughs> ball. <laughs> okay. Oh, one of the final ja numbers, I think. Janice <laughs> Javier is part of the, the cast, and Janice was also part of the voice. <laughs> and uh, season one, ba? Yeah, no, season Janice. One. And um, what an incredible artist this person is. She's got a wonderful heart, you know. But, and she's got a lot of it. Get it? A lot of it. So there are times that she, it becomes a favorite moment, I guess, even for all of us while the show is happening because we never know what she's going to do, what she's going to say, what she's going to come up, you know, one-liners that boom, you know. And also Mitoy, who is very much known now as a comedian on television, but he's the champion of the se season one, The Voice. And when he sings, you get to see a totally different side to him that maybe some have come to, for, you know, ha may have forgotten. Now, ay, champion pala siya, no? Kaya pala. But you'll get to see it and hear it in Gary V Presents. Um, my personal, one of my personal favorites is always the time when we all come to rehearse, like we're doing our sound check, because that's when you see us in ways that the public never will. Kulitan you know. moments. Yeah. And, and many times, what? The kulitan, kulitan moments. Kulitan moments and sometimes Paolo, my, my son, and he yeah. catches that. That's what he tells us backstage. He says, be that way. Mm. Come out on stage and just be who you are. Uh, we want to give people exactly who you are, not how you just want to make people see you when you're in front of the camera, but how you are even off stage. And so it's, it's really something that, uh, that makes me look, I, I constantly look forward to being with them, not just on the stage, but tomorrow we have rehearsals, you know, and we'll, I know we're going to have fun. Is there someone who surprised you? Like you weren't expecting that person to act that way? Ah, si ano? Then, no. I, I, I not, nothing that they have done is a surprise to me. Mm -hmm. It's just a confirmation of what I knew they could already do. Now, as, as far as character, is yeah. concerned outside. Uh, there's always a surprise. Like, I remember there was one time when Katrina Velarde, she's the smallest and I think one of the youngest in the group, she was, uh, fa she was pregnant. She was, pregnant. Right? She was uh, going to deliver a few months after that. Yeah. But when she was still on the stage, you know, With having heels fun. this okay. high. Heels <laughs> so we're all like yeah. freaking out every time <laughs> she would walk. I'm like, yeah. Yeah. careful. <laughs> and then there's one guy who really is a character. Ah. Uh, <laughs> oh, well, that's that's Jimmy <laughs> Jimmy Marquez is well, incredible uh, person. Really a joy to be with, no? Super. And of course, Bullet Dumas, yeah. natalagan. The most they all bring the, the comic relief. <laughs> Just look at my face when I go like this, Bullet Dumas. <laughs> <sighs> what a choice we had to make. <laughs> but what a good choice. What a good like choice. The first time we m I met Bullet, my gosh, I was, because so, uh, he, he's the most different. Eh? Yeah. Yes, he's so yeah. unique. Oh, you guys have to see him. Such a unique character, unique yeah. person, unique talent. You know, um, wow. I'd like to also make people know that one of the things I say on stage is that there is a difference between artists that come out to compete as compared to artists who simply come out because they want to have fun. There's a difference between having to compete and having to just have fun. You're all artists. Yeah. You've all been blessed incredibly, uh, so richly, you know, with the talent to either dance or sing or to write music. Yeah. That's what I'm trying to put into this show, is to make people know you don't have to compete. Just be just your perform. best on stage. Yeah. And somebody's going to f love you for who you are, not for who you want to be, which is like a champion. You don't have to be a champion. You know, you could just take that three minutes, touch a heart or two or three or more, mm -hmm. and you're a champion right there. Yeah, and one thing I love about the show is that we all bring out the best in each other. Correct. Especially to Gary. He, like, he knows how to, I don't know, we're all just so so happy and excited to be there. Yeah. And when we're, when we're together, it's just the best just comes out. And nobody and has so different. That yeah, correct. Know, it all just gels together. And, and nobody has that, that attitude of, well, I wait, ah. Uh, you know, Carlos Magaling, I have to sing also. Good. <laughs> no, everybody's like a team player. Yeah. You know, yeah. you, you support each other and you bring out the best in each other. And the way, I might, I might mention, the way Mon Faustino arranged oh. each song for each, each, um, each harmony for each artist really brings out our voices. Yes. 
they, I was just I was just sharing to them like we ha we're, we're, I'm not telling the song but we're, we're, he made us learn this new song and with, with harmonies and just like, I couldn't sing because I kept choking up because it was just so beautiful and I haven't heard it yet they've heard it I haven't heard this one song that I often do so but it's it's a new song it's a new addition for it's the it's a new yeah. addition to the it's an show. addition to the to the repertoire and uh, we're adding a few things you know uh, I, even the artists as I speak, they don't know what else we might actually add on, but that's so good. So do they get to pick and choose? Uh, for this particular show, uh, we did most of the choosing uh, as to okay. what they were going to do. But see, what's good about the show is that it's not just duets that we do. It's not just production numbers that we do. But each song was carefully arranged by Mon Faustino. Uh, and then I helped out also a little bit in deciding where to take the music to fit each artist. So none of them are adjusting to sing my kind of music, my style. It's me basically adjusting to how they really perform. And uh, I, I'm happy to say that I think they've really all gone beyond the expectations of many. The best feedback that I've gotten with the show is a thank you that uh, there's finally a show that really showcases the artists as for who they are. Um, I mean, Carla, Carla's number, uh, she does a number with, with um, Jimmy and, and myself, and we are going to be at the theater in Solaire. Yeah. So the song is very theatrical, but it's a song that people will probably know because it's one of mine. But it's treated in a way that, again, fits who they are. They're great theater actors, you know, so. Then we did with, with RJ, we also do something that, again, brings out his best when he's but singing. it's all a secret. <laughs> yeah, better, <laughs> because if I just you come and tell people, they'll go, oh, May 12, 13, 19, and 20. <laughs> you, have to, you have to come and see it. It's, uh, you know, even if it was another name there, you know, instead of Gary Valenciano or Gary V Presents, if yeah. it was Martin Nevera Presents, if it was Yang Constantino Presents, I think... If, it, if I knew it was going to be this kind of a show, I'd be there, even just to be a spectator, to see, wow, these artists, you know. They, for me, they're the ones that uh, are the forefront to a, parang the poster. If you had a poster of how good Filipino artists really are, these are just some, but they can be the poster, you know, for that. Because it's incredible to see them do what they do on that stage. Well, RJ is singing for us next. Are you? Will you be singing this song during the show, no, or are you this, allowed to say? Song. Okay. <laughs> but uh, it's another song that I'll be doing. Well, Wait, this, this one is the. Uh, this is uh, maybe it's time. This is an original. That yeah, is original, written. Uh, written and composed by Mr. Uh, Veni Saturno, and so I uh, hope you guys enjoy this one. Go ahead. There's no other place I'd rather be Than to where I'd find you'd also be But you can't deny the things I see Seems it's almost over now for you and me Yesterday I thought that love's forevermore But now it just looks so much different than before I just can't bear the thought of losing you My heart is crying out What's this all about? Maybe it's time this time To let go and forget Maybe it's time this time To think about myself Maybe tomorrow I'll be fine Like I was before we met Maybe this time it's just not true love Oh, 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 oh. Yes, 
Yesterday I thought that love was forevermore But now it just looks so much different than before I just can't bear the thought of losing you My heart is crying out And what's this all about? Maybe it's time this time to let go and forget. Maybe it's time this time to think about myself. Maybe tomorrow I'll be fine like I was before we met. Maybe this time it's just not true love yet. Though it was hard to let you go, but then somehow there's just no other choice I know. And so maybe it's time this time to let go and forget. Maybe it's time this time to think about. Maybe tomorrow I'll be fine Like I was before we met Maybe it's time it's just not guys if you are just joining us now we, that was RJ De La Fuente with Maybe It's Time uh, they, he is here on Live Jam with us with Carla Guevara La Forteza and Mr. Gary Valenciano they will all be at Gary V Presents uh, a concert this May 12, 13, 19 and 20 it's, it, will, it will be at the Theater at, at the Soler, theater at Soler. Yes. Yeah. it's going to be again the season finale and you guys have been doing this for quite some time. So I was wondering, because you guys spend so much time with each other at rehearsals, not just at the concerts, uh, what have you learned from each other? Or what's the biggest piece of advice that you've taken away? <laughs> Ladies first. Yeah, I think we, we should start with Carla and RJ. You know what? I've known Tita Gary and Tita Anjali and their whole family for a very long time now, even before I did the concert with them. And uh, I got to know them more when I, when I joined the, the team for the concert. And I just found a family in them and mentors and inspirations. And when I met my siblings from the Gary V Presents show, I called them my siblings. And I th I'm, am I the old? I'm the eldest girl, no? Or is it Janice? Anyway, I, I consider myself as the ate. So, you know, I treat them like my, my younger siblings. And I just, I don't know what I'll do after this show. Tito Gary, why are you making this the last show? <laughs> no. But yeah, I, I, I've learned how to value each and every person in the, in the family. And I hope to keep in touch with everybody yeah, even after the show. Because this is, this, this is not the season finale. I don't believe you. <laughs> well, we'll see. <laughs> well, let's see. So many things. But one, one lesson that, that stands out for me is when Tito Gary always tells us to sing from the heart. And um, um, just really tell a story with a song. And... and um, the lyrics aren't just words, they're like his songs. They're, some of them are like inspirations to many people. And when you really um, take them all in, they're, they're so encouraging. And um, yeah, uh, singing from the heart is one of the, the lessons that I'm, I'm always gonna cherish from uh, Tito Gary and everyone 
from the show because they they're they're so encouraging. Everyone lifts each other up, and like I said, brings out the best in each other. And yeah, it's well, very stern now. I'd and uh, of course, I guess you guys would learn a lot from Gary Valenciano. But I was wondering what you learned from um, these these people that I suppose you also mentored. Um. What have I learned? Uh, it's it's. Wow, there are just so many things actually that I can I can think of. Um, one is that it's never it, the the learning never ends. It, 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 you never get to the point where okay na you know this is okay na you know pwede na yan, you know because um, you're not just dealing with artists you're dealing with with people who have a lot of heart and a lot of passion in what they do. And because of that, um, there's a way that I approach my songs, my, the songs that I do for the show, uh, in a different way. Because for one thing, some, uh, each night is never really the same, although it's the same songs. No? But um, because RJ mentioned it, that they really all sing from the heart. It's easy to sing from here, from the throat, from the voice. <laughs> Anybody can do that. But when you sing from the heart, that's when you actually have your own personal touch that nobody else can, can take from you. Uh, and because they have all put in so much effort you know, into this concert that they've touched my heart. And uh, I think that vocally, um, it's one of Mon Faustino's greatest you know, works. Um, and he together with the artists, have really put me in a, at a level where in I can't do this concert in any other way except by pouring out 100%, maybe 200% of myself, not only vocally, but emotionally and spiritually as well. And I've, that's, what, that's only one of the things that I've learned from these artists. The friendship is another thing. The, the way that they've loved each other, you know, uh, even if we don't get to see each other all the time, you know, as often as we should, but when we see each other, it's like, oh, you know, so I can only imagine tomorrow when we s actually get together at the yeah. band rehearsal. I think there in itself, you know, if, if you guys were there, if Rappler was there, you'll capture things that I would encourage other artists to do all the time, which is make sure that you guys are together, uh, maybe not in every step of the way, but in as many steps as you take together, be together. And, well, it is the season finale, but there is going to be a, se a season two. There will be a season two, and but it may, be, it may be, yes, because that's what Paolo told me. He says, Dad, you know, you're already year years old. <laughs> so He tells you that? No, he tells <laughs> me straight out, you know, that's, he's the director, he's my son, so he can tell me anything. But really, I'm not, I'm unashamed of how old I've, I am today. Uh, and I'm not, you know, I don't hide it from people. You know, I, I'm, a, I'm a walking miracle. You know, I'm a type 1 diabetic. You know, I've had the diabetes for 38 years when the actual life expectancy is 30 years. Uh, and I've had it for 38 years. And so I'm turning 53 this year. And the reason why I'm bold enough to say it is because, well, in correlation to Gary V Presents, season 2 may not be anything like season 1. And season 3 may have little bits and pieces of one and two. I mean, we don't know. We don't even know when season two is going to happen. But I'm thinking about it. And who knows? Maybe some of them may still be a part of season two. You know, to always have a connection to how it started and where it's going and where else it can still go. I mean, there's so many things that are brewing up in my head and together with my son, Paolo. We'll come up with di different seasons. But season, the first one, many times is the most memorable one because it's the first. You know, it's got all of, all of the, the, the main uh, pegs that each show must have. Each lesson that we are learning from this is what we're going to carry on to season two, season three. Mm, I don't, you know. What made you decide to end the season? Um, oh, I don't know. Why not? Why is it the Why end? Why am I ending it? <laughs> I don't know no, with you. <laughs> no, Can't it's, it go on um, forever? If, if people, let's say abroad, or in other parts of the Philippines say, we saw season one and we want season one, then we will do it. That's, that's going to remain open. But at least if there's a season two, season three, then they have a choice. 
if they, they can even go, hey, we want a bit of season one, season two, season three, that's going to be tough because it's going to entail having so many people. But season one is probably, maybe I can boldly say, it's a season finale as we know it, which is to come up in you know, the Solaire, at the theater and all. But if there are any, any groups or any companies or any province or any school that might want us there, then why not? You know, we'll do it again for so them. So it's not necessarily the end. Well, not necessarily the end, but let's just say we're starting on a new okay. chapter. You know, okay. That's it. Well, Carla is going to sing for us also yes. tonight. You are singing a Rick Segreto original. I'm singing a Rick Segreto original, but rearranged by Ryan Kayabiab, actually for Lea Salonga. So I want to add a little bit theatrical, <laughs> so something theatrical to the show, but why still you, OPM. Why did you choose this song? Why is it so special to you? Uh, you know, Rick Segreto, I was asking Tito Gary if he's, he's met Rick Segreto. Oh, yes, I've met Because Rick. I've always liked his, I loved his songs. You know, you gotta give me a chance. You know, so it, 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 it's so annoying, it's so emo. <laughs> so emo, his songs. And it's just so sad that he passed away so early. Um, when was that? Was it the 90s, the 80s that he passed away? That's so a good question. No, not in the 80s. Not in the 80s I think then? it was in the 90s, early 90s. 90s. Has so it been that long? Um, I thought it was just like in yeah. early 2000 or something, earlier. Yeah. Pa. And of course, yeah, uh, it's a tragic, I, uh, a tragic uh, accident that happened. Of yeah. course, I have all of Lea Salonga's albums because she's my idol. <laughs> Hi, Manang. <laughs> so she re recorded this song. She revived it. With, uh, like I said, it was arranged by, it was uh, rearranged by Ryan Kayabiab, who's also a wonderful musical director. So this is one of my favorite songs. So I hope you all enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> Romantic is what they say Falling in and out of love Just like a play Memorizing each line I still don't know what to say What to say I don't know what to do Whenever you are near Don't know what to say My heart is floating in tears When you pass by could fly every minute every second of the day I dream of you in the most special way you're beside me all the time But I know someday you'll feel this feeling I have for you inside. I'm a hopeless romantic, I know I am. Memorized all the lines, but here I am. I'm struggling for words, I still don't know what to say. What to say? Beside me all the time 
Hi guys, if you are just joining us now, that was Carla Guevara La Forteza. She is here with Gary V and RJ De La Fuente. Um, ahead of their concert this weekend, Gary V presents. Uh, they're also having a concert next weekend. Gary V presents as well. It's the season finale. So this is sort of like a, a taster, if you will, uh, um, preview. Oh, a small, yeah, yes. small preview. Um, really, uh, as soon as the concert opens up, and once the first note is is sung, uh, I know that it's going to make me feel like, wow, sana we didn't nalang call it season finale. <laughs> but uh, we talked about it earlier, you know. So uh, it is called the season finale. We're gonna be working on season two, but I strongly encourage people to come and see this one because this. This is really, I think, a masterpiece put together by Mon Faustino, Paolo Valenciano, yours truly, and my incredible guests. Um, what's this? Oh, wow, this is great. We have people watching from Cambodia, from Hong Kong, from Canada, Kuwait, New York. This is New York City, okay? Uh, <laughs> Malaysia, London, California, and then from the Philippines, from Isabela, San Pablo, Laguna, maraming, maraming salamat. Thank you, guys. I have guys. the list here. Thank you very much. And we hope that you guys are enjoying giving you music at uh, almost 9 p.m. Hope you guys are having fun. Uh, and, of course, you guys are promoting your concerts yeah. for this weekend and next weekend. But do you guys have any other gigs that people can catch you at? Actually, I do. Hold on. Okay. I came prepared. <laughs> this one here. Uh, this is a U.S. tour. I'll be leaving for the U.S. in May, May 27. I'm going to be at the M Resort uh, Spa and Casino in Las Vegas. Uh, I'll be in Pechanga Resort Casino in Temecula uh, on June 3. Um, for those of you from Pasadena, I'll be at the Pasadena Civic Auditorium in Pasadena on June 10. And then my first time in Utah. Yeah, the Viridian Event Center in Utah. I think that's Salt Lake, Salt Lake City, no? on June 12th. So, sana makita kita tayin lahat doon. Um, I'll be with Mon Faustino. You know, he's my musical director. And it's live. So, Katrina Velarde will be with me in some of them. Kiana Valenciano will be with me also. And Sam Concepcion will be with me at the Pasadena Civic Auditorium. Can I say it again? <laughs> this time, real quick. M Resort uh, in uh, Las Vegas, May 27. Pechanga in Temecula. That's uh, June 3. Pasadena Civic Auditorium in Pasadena in June 10. And Utah... Uh, I'll be at the Viridian Event Center on June 12th. So that's in Salt Lake City. So there. It's okay. I'll keep it here. There. And if you missed any of that, it's of course, it's on Facebook. Yes, it's on my on Facebook, Gary media, Valenciano yeah. Official on uh, uh, Gary Valenciano on Instagram and Gary Valenciano 1 on Twitter. So it's all there. And we are heading into your last song. It's <laughs> called Huwag ka nang umiyak. <laughs> <laughs> that song... <laughs> I don't know if I should laugh or cry because of the number of memes that have been used. I don't know if I should cry because it's too funny or they've murdered my song. No, but you know, I love the way Filipinos use the songs and it's uh, actually, it's a, it's a dead giveaway of how emotionally attached people get to, yeah. to certain songs. And so I see some people, you know, behind the camera going, <laughs> ready to hear the song. So yeah, this one is um, from, I think the longest running, no? I think Vina. Is it the longest running uh, soap opera or teleserie called Ang Provinciano? Uh, I had no idea it was going to last this long, really. But it's not only lasting as long as it is, but it's, it's still raking in you know, the ratings because I think now they're really touching on the issues that people actually face. Uh, and so a song like this one I'm about to do, if you're, if you're very keen 
about lyrics. I think it's one of the most inspirational songs that have been given to me. And I'm glad I have the chance now to thank Ebe Dancel, who wrote the song. You know, he's the original singer, actually, of the song. And then KZ Tandingan has her version. And then ABS-CBN uh, came up to me and said, can you do a version for teleserie? Oh, teleserie, kailangan, medyo dramatic. So then I saw it being used in <laughs> different memes. And uh, now I get to do it. You know, I get to do it the way it is. If any of you want to laugh at me singing this, that's okay. But when you listen to the lyrics, I know that somehow it's going to inspire you. I, 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 I'm totally floored with the way this, how this song was written. I don't know where Ebe got his inspiration to write lyrics like this, but there's a reason why it's called Wag Kanang Umiyak. And uh, I hope it just blesses people who are watching now. This is Wag Kanang Umiyak from the teleserie Ang Provinciano. I hope you enjoy it. <coughs> this is my way of saying thank you also to everyone you know, for staying with us. RJ De La Fuente and Carla Guevara La Forteza. Don't forget, this weekend, um, Gary V presents May 12, 13, 19, and 20 at the theater at Soler. Sa mundong pabago-bago, pag-ibig ko ay totoo. Ako ang iyong bangka, kung magalit man ang ano ng panahon sa bayan. Whoa! 